हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू चैप्टर नंबर सेवन कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री यू नो देर आर ओनली थ्री कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन दिस चैप्टर द फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट इज डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला यू नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स ए बी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई वन माइनस वाई टू होल स्क्वायर वन कैन ऑल्सो राइट ए बी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई टू माइनस वाई वन होल स्क्वायर सो दैट इज योर फर्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दैट इज डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस सेक्शन फॉर्मूला How to find out the coordinate of a point which divides the line segment in the ratio of m and n? So you know the first coordinate x is equal to m x two plus n x one upon m plus n, and y coordinate is m y two plus n y one upon m plus n. Similarly, we have also studied the third formula of this sector, and that is known as midpoint formula. The midpoint, the x coordinate is x one plus x two by two, and y coordinate is y one plus y two by two. So there are only three formulae for this sector. Well, we have already solved. Three illustration plus seven point one exercise that is based on the distance formula. We have also solved four illustration before seven exercise number seven point two. It is on the basis of section formula as well as midpoint formula. We have also solved first example of exercise number seven point two. Now today we are going to solve. The example number two and three of exercise number seven point two. Let us start second example of exercise seven point two. Let me read this question. Find the coordinate of the point of trisection of the line segment joining four minus one and. Minus two minus three. So the solution of question number two. One line segment is given to you. A and B. The coordinate of A is four and minus one. The coordinate of B is minus two and minus three. Now you have to find out the point of price section. Means there are two points. The one is P, and the another one is Q. The coordinate of P is x dash y dash, while the coordinate of Q is x double dash y double dash. So friends, your question is to find out the coordinate of P and Q because these two points P and Q divide line segment AB into three. Equal parts that is AB, PQ, and QB, and that's why it is known as point of trisection. We have already seen one example similar to this in illustration. Well, now here first of all you have to use section formula, and then you have to use midpoint formula. So let me use section formula. You know P and Q. R points of right section. Therefore, AB is equal to PQ is equal to QB. So P divides AB in the ratio of. One ratio two. So this portion AP is one, and this portion PQ means two. So P divides line segment AB in the ratio of one ratio two. So here M is equal to one, 
n is equal to 2 your x1 y1 is equal to 4 n minus 1 while x2 y2 is equal to minus 2 n minus 3 now you can easily find out the coordinate of p that is x plus y plus. so you know x plus means m x2 plus n x1 upon m plus n now put the value m means 1 x2 means minus 2 plus n means 2 x1 x1 means 4 upon m plus n means 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 so minus 2 4 2 is 8 so plus 8 by 3 means 6 by 3 so the x coordinate of a point p is 2 similarly we can also find the coordinate y s so y s is equal to according to formula m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n m means 1 y 2 means minus 3 plus n n means 2 y 1 means minus 1 upon m plus n 1 plus 2 means 3 minus 3 minus 2 by 3 is equal to minus 5 by 3 again y s is equal to m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n m means 1 y 2 means minus 3 n means 2 y 1 y 1 means minus 1 so this become minus 3 this become minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 become minus 5 so this and that's why q s so y s is equal to 5 by 3 so the coordinate of p is x s y s is equal to 2 n minus 5 by 3 well now here you have to find out the point of trisects here there are two points which divide line segment into three equal part so here you have to find out the coordinate of q but from this you can say one thing the q is a mid point of p behavior so first of all we have used section formula now let us use mid point formula to find out the coordinate of q so q is mid point of pb therefore q x double dash y double dash is equal to q here x dash y dash means 2 and minus 5 by 3 so here you have to write at x1 plus x2 by 2 means 2 plus minus 2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 means minus 5 by 3 minus 3 by 2 so 2n minus 2 so q x double dash y double dash is equal to q 2 minus 2 means 0 by 2 here minus 5 3 3 is a 9 minus 9 by 3 into 2 so q 0 comma minus 9 minus 5 minus 14 by 3 into 2 7 is a 14 so q answer 0 minus 7 by 3 so friends here you have to write one last sentence that is the coordinate of point of trisection is p dash is equal to 2 minus 5 by 3 and q dash is equal to 0 and minus 7 by 3 so first example 
it is similar to one illustration find the coordinate or point of price section first of all you have to use section formula and then you have to use midpoint formula to solve this type of example that is to find out the point of price section now let me solve example number 3 of exercise number 7.2 Let us read example first to conduct sports day activities in your rectangular cell school ground A B C D. Lines have been drawn with chalk powder at a distance of one meter each. Here, the line with chalk powder is drawn uh, at the distance of one meter each. Hundred flower pots have been placed at a distance of one meter from each other along A D. A B C D is your garden. Along with A D, they place hundred flower pots. So this first flower pot, second flower pot, third flower pot, similarly hundred flower pots have been placed at a distance of one meter from each other along A D. As shown in the figure, Niharika runs one fourth of distance AD. One fourth of distance AD. Here, hundred flower pots have been placed at a distance of one meter. So the distance AD is hundred meter. So AD is equal to hundred meter. Now Niharika runs one fourth of the distance AD. So the distance covered by Niharika is equal to one fourth of AD. AD means hundred, and that is twenty-five. On the second line. So on the second line. And one fourth distance, and that is twenty-five. So this is the point. Here it is twenty-five, and here in the second row. So as shown in the figure, Niharika runs one fourth means twenty-five meter distance on the second line and post the green flag. So this is the position of a green flag. That's why position of green flag is equal to second row and at a distance of twenty-five. So the coordinate of this is two and twenty-five because on the second row. And at the distance of one fourth of AD, this is regarding green flag placed by Niharika. Well, now Prith, another student, Prith runs one fifth distance of AD. So distance covered by. Pre is equal to one fifth of AD means one fifth of hundred is equal to twenty meter. One fifth of the distance AD on the eighth line. So this is eighth line and twenty distance. So let me use this one is twenty. Eighth line and post the red flag. So this is the position of red flag. That is row number eight, and here distance is twenty five. So position of red flag is equal to row number eight 
and at the distance of 20 at the distance of 20 because one fifth of AD. So first of all we have find out the position of green flag then we have find out the position of red flag. Well now the question is what is the distance between both the flag? So distance between both the flag is a b let me say this point is a and this point is b so you have to find out the distance a b so a b is equal to under root x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square so we are using distance formula to find out the distance between these two points so the a b is equal to here the first point is 2 a so you can write 8 minus 2 whole square plus 20 minus 25 whole square so is equal to 8 minus 2 6 6 whole square means 36 plus 20 minus 25 minus 5 minus 5 square means 25 so here you get under root 61 so distance between two flag is equal to under root 61 very simple answer so first of all you have to find out the position of green flag then you have to find out the position of red flag that is given by posted by pre here it is posted by niharika then you get x1 y1 as well as x2 y2 so by using distance formula you can easily find out the answer of first question and your first question is what is the distance between both the flag you know there is another question if rasmi another student has to post a blue flag exactly halfway between the segment joining two flag so rasmi want to post a flag exactly between a b where should she post her flag so obviously here you have to find out the mid point top line segment a b you can also write position of blue flag is equal to midpoint of line segment AB. You know how to find out the midpoint of line segment AB? X1 plus X2 by 2 and Y1 plus Y2 by 2. Here X1 means 2 plus X2 means 8 by 2 comma Y1 means 25 plus Y2 means 20 by 2 8 plus 2, 10 by 2 means 5 and 20 plus 25, 45 by 2 that is 22.5 so the answer of the second question is where should she post her flag so Rasmi post her flag at a distance to 22.5 meter on the fifth row on the fifth row here on the second line here it is eighth line similarly C post the flag at 22.5 meter distance on fifth line so fifth line and 22.5 meter distance and this is the position of blue flag very interesting example one situation is given to you here Niharika post one flag so you have to find out the position of uh, first flag that is green flag then another student Preet also posted one flag red flag so first then you have to find out the distance uh, position of a red flag then you have to find out the distance between these two flags, the under 61. And then Rasmi wants to post a flag, blue flag, 
exactly between the line segment joining these two black, green, and red. So, where should she post her flag? She should post her flag on fifth line at a distance 22.5 meter from A on on line segment AD. So, let me start. Example number 4 of exercise number 7.2 Find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points minus 310 and 6 minus 8 is divided by minus 1 6 So two points A the coordinate is minus 3 and 10. We can say it is x1, y1. The point B that is 6 and minus 8. We can say it is x2, y2. You have to find out the ratio. So m is not given to you. n is also not given to you. And a point which divides the line segment is minus 1, 6. So this point minus 1, 6, the coordinate is x and y. This is B. Point A, point A and this is B. So, you know, here again you have to use section format and very simple example. We have solved one example of this type in our illustration before exercise number 7.2. Well, so, you know, x coordinate x is equal to mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n. So, x, x means minus 1 is equal to m x2, x2 means 6 plus n as it is. x1, x1 means minus 3 upon m plus n. So, minus 1 is equal to 6m minus 3n upon m plus n. Now, we can cross multiply and find out the value of m and n. If you cross multiply, you get minus 1 into m plus n is equal to 6m minus 3n. So, minus m minus n is equal to 6m minus 3n. So, minus m minus 6m is equal to minus 3n. If you export this minus n from left hand side to right hand side, it becomes plus n. So, this is minus 7m is equal to minus 2n. So, 7n is equal to 2n. So, m by n is equal to 2 by 7. So, your question is the ratio in which the line segment joining the points these two is divisible by minus 6 and the ratio is m and n. So, n is equal to 2. So, you have considered one thing n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 7. The ratio is 2 by 7. You know, in this example, I have taken x coordinate. One can also this example with the help of taking y coordinate. Let me solve this example by taking y coordinate. You know, the y coordinate of section formula is y is equal to m m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n. The y coordinate is 6 is equal to m y2. y2 means minus 8 plus n and y1, y1 means 10 upon m plus n. Again cross multiply you get 6m plus 6n is equal to minus 8m plus 10n. So 6m if you export 
this 8m from right hand side to left hand side is become plus 8m is equal to 10m minus 6m so 6 plus 8 14m is equal to 10 minus 6 means 4m so m upon n is equal to 4 by 14 m upon n is equal to 2 2 za, 2 7 za, 2 by 7 again we get the ratio in which the line segment joining the points 3 minus 10 and 6 minus 8 is divisible by minus 1 by 6 is 2 by 7 so you can solve this example by taking x coordinate as well as y coordinate well so friends in 7.2 exercise we have solved already first second third and fourth example so in next lecture in next period we will start the remaining example of 7.2 thank you friends thank you